Remember that backpack that you lost? You know, where your suitcase may be full of like your clothes, your video games, jewelry, sneakers, whatever you have in there, and you lost it at the airport and it's gone forever? Well, I found it, and I bought it, and now it's mine. Well, let me back up and explain what's going on. First, I gotta take you all the way back to Utah. Are you kidding me? This is completely customized to you. There's, she's even holding, holding. Oh, there we go. That's me. <laughs> A custom painted skate deck just for me and I left it on the airplane. Well, as I was getting on the airplane, I was gonna put it like above my little carry-on thing and that's when the lady on the plane, not making excuses, but the lady on the plane was like, oh, there's more room over here, we'll put it over here. She put it over to a place where nobody was sitting, so nobody opened it. I completely forgot about it. I had to get up and leave and go to my next gate to catch my connecting flight and all that. And it wasn't until I was getting on my next flight that I realized that skate deck is still sitting on the airplane. I didn't have time to go back and grab it. Fortunately, Alaska Airlines has a wonderful, if you lost something, fill out a quick little form, they'll look out for you. And fortunately, very fortunately, it was a kind of one of a kind item. So it wasn't like a generic, like, oh, I left my switch on a flight, whatever. I had all the information. Can't even get it all in one frame, but I got it back in the... And fortunately, back at home where it belongs. And again, thank you for this. I think it's wonderful. Um, I'm not actually going to skateboard on this. I'm not actually going to skate on this, but I think it'll look great. I'll, maybe I'll try to find a place to hang it up or something anyway. But super cool. Now, I was fortunate because I had all the information. I had the flight... I haven't started using it, I already wiped out. I had a description, I even had a photo I could attach because I just took a photo at the airport as I was getting on just talking about how cool this gift was. But maybe you don't have all that. Well, what happens to it then? Well, through some legal something or other, which I'm not exactly sure, there's a website called Unclaimed Baggage where they get pallets full of unclaimed stuff, phones, toys, and yes, video games, and then they sell it to you for low, low prices. That's right, it's literally a finder's keepers website. They grab the unclaimed baggage from airports, they clean it up, spiff it up, price it up, and sell it direct to you. So, what did I grab? Well, let's, take a, let's have a look at the website. So here we are, it's unclaimedbaggage.com. This is not sponsored or endorsed by him. I'm just letting you know what I found because, you know, again, with my skateboard thing, unclaimed baggage since 1970, good Lord, the nation's only retailer of lost luggage. You're gonna find video games, clothes, jewelry, uh, headphones, Kindles, I mean, things that you would leave on a flight or maybe leave in a suitcase or something like that. Let's go straight to the video games. That's what I think I would be most interested in. So you have Kindles, you have AirPods. I mean, I'm not a germaphobe, but putting on someone else's, you know, putting any, putting my ear, you know, I'm good. <laughs> but let's look at video games. So you got some nice video games here. You got, uh, you know, Mario Kart 8, not bad. You're gonna see a lot of loose Switch games, I'm sure. Mario Odyssey, you know, things like that. A whole lot of uh, Nintendo Switch systems too. Oh, that's a good one right there. Mario 3D World, Bowser's Fury. So good. Yeah, you know, just, just a, whole, a whole lot of video games here. But what I like to do, especially with a site like this, there's two things I like to do. I like to go high to low, just because I'm curious. And wouldn't it be cool? Okay, so we have the video games here. Here's the uh, 3D All-Stars, gotta love that. Got Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, here's even like a PAL version of the game. And these are just the video games themselves, including a controller, apparently. But you can go to video game systems. So if you're looking for like a Nintendo Switch, there's, oh, they had a Steam Deck on here. I was just gonna say, man, if only they had a Steam Deck. I don't have a Steam Deck yet. So I could have got one for $314. I guess that's a good deal. Maybe, I don't know, maybe more. Uh, but would they have the Tears of the Kingdom edition, Nintendo Switch, it's an OLED, not bad. 300 bucks. I mean, if you, if you need one and can't find one, uh, one thing that's fun about this site, and I'll show you if I can click on it properly here. I was looking at men's apparel because I was curious about the, you know, people are really into the vintage clothing. You know, it's like, oh, let's find clothing from the 90s. Not 90s inspired, just actual clothing from the 90s. And every once in a while on this site, they'll find something. Now you're paying a premium because they know what they have, unfortunately. Um, but you'll see some shirts here. Well, that one's kind of cool the Mickey one. You know, people who list, leave their shirts, their dress shirts, I mean, not on the plane, but you know, like they like the lost luggage, again. You know, get sent somewhere else, they can't claim it, no one knows where it is. You know, they take the insurance on it or something like that and, you know, just get new stuff. High to low. Oh, look at this Prada. Man, half price, it used to be $5,000 for this thing. Good Lord. What makes it $5,000? You know, but here's, oh. Yeah, but here's, here's a vintage shirt right here. Ah, oh, come on. Vintage even says right there, $539.99. I don't know about that, but it is Fruit Loops. 
90s NASCAR spooky. Does it say anything about like the single stitch or whatever? I mean, I'm sure they're legit terms because people are genuinely curious, but like, oh, it's a single stitch. It's like, so it's gonna fall apart easier? I mean, <laughs> that's what that tells me. <laughs> Gotta take better care of it, I guess, you know. Dry clean only, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, there's so many things just popping around here. New, we'll get price high to low. I'm sure it's gonna be jewelry, oh yeah. Man, some almost $20,000 chain. Not bad. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of jewelry for like the most expensive stuff. Cereal. Maybe that one shirt will show up. But maybe something else will show up too. Uh, there's a switch for some reason. And shoe. Oh, did I. Is cereal a color? It's all kind of the same color. Well, never mind about that. But can I type in Sega? Not Seg. Coral. I didn't say coral. Maybe coral was the color. So I was like, well, we don't have cereal, but we have coral. It's like, that's not what I asked for, but okay. The Gucci Sega sandals for a premium. A couple of Sega games. Okay, so, you know, things like that. All right, cool. Well, anyway, Unclaimed Baggage has a couple of things. So I went ahead and ordered a couple of things, and let's do the unboxing and see what I got and see how it works. No, I did not buy this bag. I just used this for the video. However, here is the box that just came in the mail. Now it's that weird tape with the stringies on it for durability. But it might be cool to look in there and maybe find yourself in like a nice suit or something like that. You know, gently use. You know, if they're traveling with a suit, you know, they must be doing something important. Or just trying for those uh, premium upgrades. <laughs> just simply by looking the part, you know? That, that's, that's a thing. So we have a sticker and a card and another card. Share your unclaimed, oh, I see it. So you can also uh, take a photo. I'll do that. I'll do that for Instagram, just for fun, just for fun. And win. I don't need to win. I'm just happy to do it though. They present this so nicely with a ribbon and everything. Everything's on brand orange. <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's coral. I don't know. It's cereal colored. But at the end of the day, still, it's just like, you're buying someone else's stuff that someone else already paid for. I believe I paid tax, by the way. And that's another thing I always gripe about is if it's used, it shouldn't have, t it shouldn't be taxed because that's the double taxation now. If it's used, the tax was already implemented of the new sale. So they're taxing me a second time. Here is an official Nintendo Switch USB-C charger. Got to have one of these because I grabbed, ta-da, a Switch Lite. Just to have, just to have. Sometimes when we travel, I always travel with my one Switch and, um, you know, it'll just be nice to have an extra Switch. It was cheap on the site. So it's like, let's grab the switch. Now let's turn it on. Let's see if there's anything in it. There's nothing in it. It did turn on. I just saw the logo a second ago. Like, did they wipe it clean? Or did they just... Is this is this what happens every time you turn on a new thing? Okay, so they apparently... They, I, I bet they wiped it clean and now you're starting a new, a new switch on this. So, okay, fine. Fine. Okay, fine. Well, here you go. I got... I got myself I got myself a Switch Lite just to have. You know, just for the digital game, or I mean, you can play physical games on there too, but I also got a little dime bag here full of a loose Switch game. Just for fun, a loose Mario 3D All-Stars. I got it loose because I have the case for it. I have no idea where the game is. So this will replace the game until I may or may not find the other game. It's probably on the floor somewhere. I have no idea. I got that to replace that. There we go. And I went ahead and bought one of the shirts too. It was a cheap shirt. I forgot how much I paid for it. 10 bucks, maybe? It's funny, this shirt material feels like this material. Kind of looks like it too, just different color. This is still tagged and everything. It was on sale for $9.99. This was labeled as a 3X. This is a 3X made in China. So this 3X is one that I will let my kids wear. This is this this is a size large in the United States. <laughs> so on that note, can I hulk out of it? Ah, I cannot. It's okay. It almost feels like the material I can just kind of rip through, but I won't worry about it. This was somebody's memory. This was somebody's gift from grandma, and now it's mine. Thanks, grandma. I want to intentionally lose something on a flight just to see if it shows up on that website. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> yeah, 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 Beavis 2 or something like that. I don't know, it might be fun. 